In March of 2017, a controversy arose in the city of Boston's public schools. Boston Public Schools had discontinued the use of the Mercator projection map in favor of the Gall Peters projection. This is an example of the Mercator projection. This is the projection traditionally used in public schools. There is much distortion to be noticed on this map. The land masses towards the north and south poles appear much larger than the areas closer to the equator. This map was presented by Flemish cartographer and geographer Gerhardus Mercator. It was originally used for sailing because it had lines of constant course. This is the Gall Peters projection. It is named after Arnold Peters and James Gall. Replacing the Mercator projection with the Gall Peters projection is not the solution to geographic accuracy in the classroom. Just like the Mercator projection, the Gall Peters projection has its own issues of gross distortion. If you examine the map, the areas along the poles are stretched out horizontally, while the areas closer to the equator are stretched out vertically. Maps often have distortion because a map is trying to represent a round surface on a flat surface. The goal is to teach geography with as much accuracy as possible. No flat map projection can fully get rid of distortion. For this reason, it is best to look for a map that will minimize distortion of all kinds. The Winkle triple projection is a good example of this. This projection seeks to minimize distortion in distance, area, and direction. It does not fully get rid of distortion, but it has less distortion than the Gall Peters projection or the Mercator projection. Remember, a good map is paramount in teaching and learning geography. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.